The governor is making millions of these at home rapid tests available to schools for students and staff if they want them. And here in Quincy, they hope they'll make a big difference. In Quincy, schools hopeful about switching up strategies from test and stay to at home testing. Since the state is recommending it, we will likely follow it. The superintendent says test and stay has been a heavy lift for school nurses. Plus, there aren't enough students taking part. We had about 21%. Uh, participating and obviously we would want a lot more than that. The governor is making millions of rapid tests available to schools so students can test weekly. He says test and stay is no longer needed. It's been massively successful in avoiding days lost at home, but the current state of the pandemic requires that we adapt our efforts to meet the times. Schools taking part in at home testing no longer have to contact trace. 99% of test and stay tests have come back negative. The plan also to let school nurses spend more time on students showing symptoms. At this point in time, we need to shift our attention and resources to mitigation efforts. The Massachusetts Teachers Union has been calling for more testing. It's a step in the right direction. We also hope that after this experience, the governor and the commissioner will shift from a reactive approach to a, a more proactive approach. Quincy superintendent says the move is a good decision. I hope that it will inc encourage others, students and staff, more students and staff to participate in the program and help our nurses with, with the workload. Schools can start opting in for staff as early as this week. They'll get the test next week and tests will be distributed to schools for students at the end of January. The program is set to run through April vacation when it'll be reassessed. We're live here in Quincy, Charmant Ciccetti, WCVB News Center.